Hey, what's going on everybody? How's it going? It's Trilogy or the Hollow One back for another YouTube video. Um, first off, shout out to uh, Noel's Empire. Um, cool guy. Uh, I will be. I probably will be working with him soon. Um, but today I'm actually going to be doing a video based on the haunted castle. So, on your map, you're gonna want to go to Belfort. Uh, I did show this before, but go to Belfort. Turn around. You're going to want to go down this hall right here. Go straight down and go into this portal. Past the first portal into the second. Okay, next, instead of going straight like usual, we're going to go ahead and take a left. Okay, and this is right here is where the, there's going to be the haunted castle. So, uh, Zazel here will give you quests and he will give you some uh points so what you're going to do is want to buy the key first right here after you click the portal once you buy the key it costs 10 platinum it's going to bring up this menu you have to open it up and then click on the portal again so click follow the road and as soon as the game starts um you're going to have this guy following you around which is the warlock okay so if you see how i'm kind of pressing this spam ability uh to, to dash forward um, you'll notice how it um, <clears throat> how it kind of gains some ground on him just a little bit. That's the one thing you're going to want to do is gain some ground. I will show you how to stun him now. You'll go and open a chest, and boom, right there, he's stunned. And look at that. Uh, we got the Yokob pet first, uh, first chest. That is very lucky. That is the second time I have received Yokob. I am kind of farming for them right now. I only have one, so that's actually the only one I got now, because I sold, like, two. Um, but, anyway, so you can kind of see how I'm dashing around. That is how you gain ground on the Warlock. You want to uh, make sure that uh, you can get some ground on him. Because if you don't, then uh, he will hit you. And you also have to, like, this is, like, mandatory. You have to have a character that has a dash ability so if your character does not have a dash ability such as mage or i don't think bird if you're playing as mage or bird and you don't have a dash ability i'm not sure if you do or don't oh fuck this is probably going to kill me this time uh yeah i'm definitely going to die so if you get caught in this situation like this you're going to have to just like turn and run because see how he just swung but he missed um but sorry anyways if you're playing with mage or bird i don't think they have dash abilities you're gonna run and run rhino fox or bear because i know they have i know they have one um not sure about mage or um or the bird but uh anyway yeah so make sure you have a dash ability run up to the door and whenever you run up to the door you're gonna want to tap on the door itself and it will start to do the unlocking feature here Ooh, it's gonna be close we might die it's okay so that's what happens and this is what happens if he hits you. You get booted back all the way to Fathom Crypt. And you gotta go back and do it again. So, I mean, I guess it is an experience. I did get you cob from that, so I'm not really, like, upset about that. Um, but we'll go ahead and run back over there and do it again. And we'll see if we can escape. <clears throat> we'll see if we can escape this time. That would be really nice. So, kind of the same feature, just the dash ability. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but also in the last game, there was those black, uh, like that black puddle of, like, oil and bones and whatnot on the ground. Um, you're gonna want to avoid those, because walking through those will actually slow you down tremendously, and it, it will give him a massive, like, amount of time to kind of catch you. Whenever you're, whenever you first open a crate, you're gonna want to, like, kind of maneuver him around the pole just enough so you can kind of like dash away because he'll have to walk all the way around the pole and that'll that'll help a lot um i don't i don't know if anybody else is having this issue but if you are uh whenever it comes to the warlock um first off the door sometimes i have to tap on it twice to unlock it i believe that's a bug and the second thing is um sometimes like, and also, it, yeah, it happens with the chest, too, if you didn't just see me do that. Ooh, I'm a pole arm. Okay. Cool. I got another merman's, um, weapon, I believe. So, that's, that's really nice. Um, 
Yeah, but sometimes he'll also like glitch. He'll kind of like glitch and he'll like you'll gain a lot of ground on him, and then he will like spawn like and it'll just glitch forward over here, and like right next to you, he'll, like spawn right next to you out of out of nowhere and then just kill you. Uh, I was actually the last run I did. Um, I ended up getting I, I ended up finishing it, and he glitched out and killed me. And he just spawned next to me. Okay. So after you, you know, dash ahead, get some ground and whatnot, uh, you're going to want to, before you exit, you're going to want to destroy all of these coffins here that are all sparkly. Um, you'll see them and it'll just kind of auto lock onto the, the coffins themselves. <clears throat> or tombstones, whatever you want to call them. Not coffins, sorry, I'm stupid. Um... But after you destroy all of these, next you want to find the exit, which will probably be somewhere around here. I probably just passed it. Let's see. Yeah, the exit, I literally just walked past it because I got so sidetracked. Um, so after you destroy all the tombstones, you want to come through this exit. It's going to, you know, you know, kind of just do that sparky shit. And then after that, you're going to want to come out here and destroy these tombstones. Now, if you destroy the tombstones, what that does, it'll actually give you more event points. It'll give you an extra 1,500 event points per run. But that pretty much explains it and wraps up this video for the... What is it called? The Haunted Castle. Sorry, I'm not all here right now. But, uh, yeah. So, that'll wrap up that. And, uh, if you guys want any more information regarding the Halloween event, uh, leave it down in the comment section below. Uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, this is a brand new channel and I do plan to post a lot of videos on this, but for right now I'm doing a lot on the Halloween event so everybody can kind of get it down to a T. And um, I'm trying to help out as many players. Also while climbing the leaderboard. The leaderboard I will be explaining in the next video. So yeah, hint hint. Uh, I'll explain all this in the next video. But thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Peace out and have a good day.